Direct Line has terminated its issuance of the insurance business with immediate effect. The company says any further transactions to be made must be through its original shareholders and termed a CR12 purporting to have other shareholders as fake and obtained through the back door. In a letter on behalf of shareholders, Royal Credit Limited accused the insurance regulatory authority IRA of turning a blind eye on fraudulent activities committed using a CR12 document that does not reflect the true ownership of the direct line company which was founded in 1998 by its rightful shareholders Stephen Latour reports According to Direct Line, it has arrived at a decision to close its insurance shop and noted that the shareholders of the above company have resolved to cease issuance of insurance policies and hence cease conducting insurance business effective 10 September 2024. The termination further says that the Association of Kenya Insurance Companies, Aki, is hereby instructed not to issue from the date of this notice any insurance certificates or stickers in the name of Direct Line Assurance Company Limited. It further reads in part that the company is no longer under the regulation of the Insurance Regulatory Authority of Insurance Act Cup 487. Subsequently, all banks that deal with Direct Line Assurance Company Limited are notified that the CR12 that is in circulation is fraudulent and does not reflect the true shareholding or directorship of the company. They are prohibited from making any transactions not authorized by real shareholders who are Royal Credit Limited, SK Masharia and Mrs. Masharia. Direct Line accuses IRA saying it has permitted and continues to permit the issuance of the fraudulent CR12 despite it having full knowledge of the fraud dating back to 2005. The fraudulent CR12 has been used to mislead the courts into making rulings that are are prejudicial to the real shareholders of the company. The Rec line says the persons and entities listed in the fraudulent CR12 are neither shareholders nor directors of the company. They are liable to the employees they employed in the name of the company and also liable for the monies and assets worth over 7 billion shillings, out of which 2.3 billion shillings was paid to Actis, a UK-based company. These monies they took from the company contrary to insurance Act Section 71. In the statement by Royal Credit Limited, the documents showing trail of the fraudulent transactions in direct line were provided in this link. The matter has been copied to Head of Public Service Felix Kosge, Treasury Cabinet Secretary John Badi, Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki, Central Bank Governor Kamau Thuge, Treasury PS Dr. Chris Kipto, IRA Chair Mwambu Mabonga, IRA CEO Godfrey Kiptum, Register of Companies, Director General Business Registration Services, all banks and all employees of Direct Line Assurance Company Limited. Stephen let us, Citizen TV.